You're watching Price's Value This Morning on KBTX News 3. Face masks are in high demand, and members of our community have been working to meet the need. News 3's Jessica Grunling spoke with some of them today and has more on how you can get involved. There are no masks to be found on the market. Sarah Quinn and her husband own a mobile detailing company and with the outbreak of COVID-19 decided to make their own. Found the help of uh, one of our neighbors uh, who is a seamstress. So right now we're at over 600 masks that we've donated. Their primary focus is on healthcare workers and first responders. Our community is in their hands right now um, and they are on the front line. But since the CDC has recommended that people start wearing masks to go out, they've seen more requests from non-essential workers as well which is also why Rhonda Raphael and Kristen Sandlin started Hero Mask Makers. As the virus grows, I believe that we will need to be supplying masks for the entire community. They're working to create a community coalition to start making masks and meet the needs of doctors and nurses as well as our community. We've got over 150 masks needed right now and only 13 have been made. So. And we're kind of in need of extra help. Each group working toward a common goal. When the CDC was telling people to wear bandanas, we were like, okay, well, surely we can do better than that. Our goal is for our community to have as many masks as possible. In Brian, Jessica Grunling, News 3. If you need masks or are looking to help sew them, information for both of these organizations is attached to this story on kbtx.com. The bar may not be open, but these bartenders at Rebel Draft House are also sewing, sewing some masks. These will go to the drivers at the Brazos Transit District. If you would like to donate any materials, they can be dropped off at the donation, uh, donation box outside of the Church Street entrance Monday through Friday from noon to 2 p.m.